Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out on the beach. We're kind of fighting some thunderstorms here this morning. We've got screen recording. I just kind of want to take a, take a look at a couple different things on the screen recording. Uh, number one, I've touched the uh, icon for wireless. I'm, I'm looking and I'm surprised I don't see any channel readings. Um, so that's rather interesting. So let's go back and let's take a look at everything. We got some interesting views, as you can see on the screen recording of some rocks on the table that somebody left. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and take this guy up and, and try a little bit of experimenting since we're we have a pretty clear beach. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to press the launch button. Whoops! I press the right button here, folks, and then I'm going to go take off. Ensure it's safe. Yes. So we're going to take this up a little bit. And uh, you can see it's, it's hovering pretty good. I want to start the video recording because one of the things I want to do is uh, actually I want to take it out to the water line. And then what I want to do is I'm now going to go to the controller and uh, just make sure everything's clear here. And why isn't the controller actually doing what the controller is supposed to do? That's interesting. For some reason, it's not bringing up the controller mode. As you can see, hopefully, see on the screen, I'm tapping the button. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to go to go to Apple or something. Oh, though, there it is. So it just really took a long time. So because I want to go to tap to fly. You know, I wonder if it couldn't be the screen recorder on this that's uh, that's somehow stealing the stealing the show from uh, DJI. Because in the past two videos, I haven't used screen recording and I haven't had a problem. Now I'm using screen recording and I have a problem. That's interesting. So let's. Um, Let's uh, see if I can turn off screen recording. Turn off screen recording, what happens? Okay, now let's see if I... Screen recording is finished. And let's... Uh, I'm now trying tap to fly again. So I've gone back to normal. Let's try tap to fly again. And it's taken a long time for it to come up, and it's really not doing anything. So I'm a, I'm a little bit disappointed. I don't know. It keeps uh, it keeps coming up, and I don't have tap to fly activities. So I don't know. Me, I don't think it was a screen recorder. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna try stopping the DJI Go app, and. Uh, restarting it let's see what's see let's see what happens with that so now I got that happening just making sure everything's staying clear while I'm hovering around here and we're waiting for the DJI app you know now this is a pretty hefty tablet this is a brand new let's go fly uh, latest version notification will disappear it looks like it has another new update uh, so I've got no signal. It should connect. All right, so I'm connected. GPS. Yes, I know where I'm at. And then let's go ahead and let's do tap to fly. And I got nothing. Why? Why does that not work? And so, guys, I've did my homework. You know, before somebody writes and complains again, if I just press this. I've done this before. I should be able to press tap to fly and it should work. Well, it's not. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to okay, now it's now it's working. So, I'm going to tap below the horizon on this corner. All right, I got a point selected. And I'm going to I'm going to tell it to go. 
All right, if it goes. Diesel Pete's, I'm running down the battery and I'm not going anywhere. All righty. We're still trying to get this to go somewhere. Now I'm below the horizon, so it's not complaining. I don't know. I'm getting rather frustrated with this, so let's just take, kind of take it out on our own and see what happens, see if we can get some footage. I want to get some footage down the beach. I'd have liked it if it could have flown itself. But uh, I don't know. I, I tell you, the, I've used the uh, DJI Go, uh, Go app for quite a while with the Phantom, and I haven't had any problems. But now notice I'm getting the uh, screen blanking and everything. I haven't gotten that in the past two flights, so I'm not sure. I'm coming up on the seagulls. And again, I'm just kind of walking it down the beach. Look, look at the seagulls fly. And just kind of walking it down the beach. You know, this, this is phenomenal with video. And I, I, again, maybe I just have to give, give in and switch back to an Apple tablet. I've been kind of boycotting Apple. I've been very disappointed with a lot of their lack of, uh, am I saying this right, lack of innovation. Um, but just looking at 47%, I don't have too much battery left, but of course I'm not getting out there too far. So again, just, just almost as if we're walking down the beach. So unfortunately I had to do a little bit of correction there. Which kind of cost me, so I'm going to yaw this back around towards me. Whoops. A little bit too far. Now I'm going to try this again. So I'm going to select a point on the screen. And I'm going to say go. Now it's working this time. So now this is flying its back towards me. Let's see if I can turn down the speed. I'm going to turn down the speed. I'm now doing it at 4.3 miles per hour. You can see it coming back towards me. See me waving over here. And about 36%. I notice if you're active flying, the battery lasts longer than if you're just basically doing slow hovering motions like this. And so we're just bringing it back up, catching some more video. I want to... So this is now decided to stop. I want to see if I can do just a real another quick one down this way. And see what happens. Uh, Alright, so now I have that. I have my circle. And... I've lost my circle. I'm just going to do quick. Whoops, I'm kind of yawed back around the wrong way. Let's let's just walk it this way. It's going to complain want to return to home in a minute. So we're just walking it back out there. Again, I think this is a fantastic YouTube uh, copter. Okay, I want to cancel that. And then what I want to do is I want to bring it back around.
to myself and uh, I'll bring it back to the home point. Is we'll just walk it back up here. Yeah, I, I don't think... Uh, I've had a number of people write me and complain about Android with the DJI, and I, I'm beginning to st I'm beginning to agree with them. Now, I've had a lot of people say that um, the NVIDIA tablet, uh, I think it's the K-Force, works well. And, and, and uh, I don't know, I've got a ton of uh, tablets as I try to figure out where I'm at here orientation-wise. So let's uh, turn it back to the water and let's bring it back over this way. Yeah, I know your battery's slow. And let's bring it down. Okay, so, and we'll save the video. So we save the video out. I hope um, that's still going. Okay, now we save the video out. So what, one of the things I seem to be, yeah, I, and I don't know because the last two flights I did, I didn't do any screen recording. I didn't seem to have is issues. I did screen recording here. I seem to have issues, so I, I'm going to have to try some more experimentation or just give in and, and go with a, a, an Apple product. Because as I was beginning to say before, um, you know, a number of people on the site have complained. And, and again, I've really only used the DJI Go app with the Phantom 3 in the past. And uh, it's worked well. I haven't had any problems. Did a lot of screen recording. You can go back and see. But ever since I've been using this DJI 4, been very very problematic now I haven't used it on an Apple device yet um, because I only have larger scale iPads I've got the regular size iPad I've got the iPhone 7 which is kind of small I think for the screen I like this size of screen and then I've got an iPhone 5s uh, in addition to the iPads and again so I haven't done it but I think I'm gonna have to get Again, as I was mentioning before, I had it got distracted and had to land. A lot of people are saying they're having success with the uh, NVIDIA K-Force. But that, that's getting to be, I think, a pretty big tablet, back to a full-size tablet. And I like this mini form factor, especially with this guy. You can kind of see the setup I got here in the box. I can just throw it in. It's throw and you go. And so it's just a great configuration. So anyways... Um, if you're having these kind of problems with your Spark, let me know in the comments below. And if you're using an Android device, again, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know if you're having the problem and, and potentially what you've done about the problem, if anything. And we'll go from there. So, all right, subscribe button coming up over there. You know the routine about the comments. I already hit that, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.